event and today we're having the most delicious and healthy food for breakfast. Okay, so nobody really touches their food until they're done with their flat plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ito yung akin, get mine. why breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but realistically, ito lang yung pinaka nasiskip natin na meal. Is that correct? Um, okay, honestly, system tayo, guys. Sino dito ang nag-skip ng breakfast this morning? Come on, raise your hands, raise your hands. Oh, oh there we go. See, this is something that I used to be guilty of also. Alrighty, so guys, tell us more about your breakfast habits. Are you a breakfast uh, eater or a skipper? I love breakfast. It's like my favorite meal of the day. Like on the weekends, I love to go out for brunch, but realistically during the week, I do eat at home. It's much healthier, it's cheaper, and you know exactly what's going into your food. So we wake up pretty early at our house in the morning and there's always you know, there's always something to do. There's activities, there's work, there's to-do list. But I do care about breakfast enough to make it the night before. And literally, like, the oats do the work for you overnight. Like, they thicken up, you put, you know, like you said, soy milk, um, nut milk, cow's milk, and like if you're a picky eater, you're, you're gonna find something you love. Like there's fruits, there's superfoods, there's nuts, there's honey, there's spreads. Like you can have a different breakfast every day of the week just with overnight oats. So I feel like everyone needs to get on this over. I, I was telling everyone, I was like, I could talk about overnight oats for days because this is really what we do at home saves time, you know exactly what's going into your food, which I love, and it's healthy for you. And I think that's also one of the best life hacks I've ever learned from, from my coaches and from from my nutritionists is that... Um, yeah, as always, I always say in my blogs, you know, Vinca, the important meal of the day is breakfast because you gotta get your metabolism moving. Uh, now me, I, I'm not hungry in the morning. I just, for whatever reason, I, I don't have an appetite. So I really just like to eat anything that's easy. Uh, which is why, you know, oats like this, th this would be perfect. And it makes it easier to eat as well when it tastes good. So, that's it. Any and, and healthy food in your diet? Well, with my schedule, because like sometimes I wake up really early in the morning. Like today, I woke up at 4 a.m. I had to be on set, and I, I'm here again, and I'm probably going to finish again at 4 a.m. later. So it's really hard for me to stick with eating breakfast. And... Plus, I'm trying this new thing where I'm really trying to adapt to a healthier lifestyle. And sometimes, because of my schedule, I'm too tired to really prepare. And I just want to, like, you know, go home, grab something from the fridge, eat it, and then pass out. <laughs> Probably not so healthy, but I mean, it's better than eating, like, a full meal and then going to sleep. So the thing with overnight oats, it's just so easy. Like, I can meal prep and then put it in the fridge and then grab it if I have to go to a shooting or if I get home from a shooting. That's awesome. And 
these three people, well, us four, who are part of the Quaker Overnight Breakfast Club, we uh, like to encourage you guys and, and show you that you can have a very busy lifestyle. You can actually go and do all of these things. Okay, so now we're going to show you how Patty usually makes her um, banana overnight oats. And, and I see you on your social media accounts that you're always the one preparing the meals, right? Yes, I just love knowing exactly what's going into my food. I like, you know, manipulating the taste, the flavor. Um, and everything. So we're starting out with half a cup of oats, and then we're adding our liquid. So in this case, we're using milk. And this is a great point that Patty pointed out earlier. The oats does all the work for you already. All you have to do is put everything in, and then you leave it. Right. So the oats are basically raw, and we're basically activating them overnight with the milk, and then we're adding um, green yogurt here. So that's going to kind of make it a little more thick and creamy give it a little extra taste. This is honey to sweeten it up. It's a natural sweetener. And then, so these are basically the spices you would basically use in a banana bread. Nutmeg, cinnamon, and honey. And then for a little bit of crunch, we have the nuts, which is walnuts. This is literally typically what you would see on a banana bread, but for breakfast. Hey, almond extract. Okay. Just kidding, we're gonna start with the O's. That's the most important. I gotta keep you guys on your toes, right? <laughs> He's Here we go. I gotta exactly. test, I gotta test everyone. So first thing we do is that we gotta get a half cup of the There it is. Yep, that's it. There we go. Alright, so that's there we go. And that's also the interesting part about it. There's really no process as to which comes first, except for the part that it's the oats that come that come first. And then you can just dump everything in. Yeah, you just you just throw it all in there because then you're gonna well, is this something that you would eat? I know that you, you eat very lightly before you work out in the morning. Is this something that you you would suggest as a as a as an after workout meal? Um, I think I would do it before workout because everything like in the morning, I just want to get my metabolism moving. So in that very first hour, I want something light, easy, and, and this is perfect because you can just down it really fast, and it doesn't taste too bad. It's just pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's it very good. Easier. Yeah. Tell us more about how we can change our lifestyles and how we can push ourselves to eat more healthily with breakfast as well. I really think that if you take time the night before, it really saves you time from thinking about anything in the morning that's food related. Like you said, sometimes you just grab something out of your fridge. If you commute, you know, you might drive through a fast food place. That's not very healthy, guys. So really just take the time. We all did this, like what, in a minute? And we were talking and we were explaining. You know, if you're in your house, you just literally get all the ingredients, dump it in something like this. Give it a swirl, it does the work for you overnight, and then you wake up and you're like forced to grab this in the morning. So you'll see differences. It's good for digestion, it's good for skin, it's good for demeanor. You'll see, you'll see the changes when you live a healthy life. You're just happier. Yes. Yeah, um, I, I would just say keep things convenient. I mean, time is so valuable and, and this is so good because you don't have to go out. I rarely ever go out of my house because it's just, just time consuming. I spend all day, like 24 hours, just in the editing cave and I just like to eat things that are very simple. So th this is perfect. I mean, you see how fast we made it, like she just said, boom. And then the next night you wake up and uh, you just eat it that quick. I think it's really about finding what's convenient for you and finding what you really like. Because then what we did today, we made so many different options. And it's not just these three recipes that you can try. You can always experiment, find what works for you, and sticking with what you love, which is good. <laughs> Healthy food. Good is life. Yes. So I think what we have here is, you know, working around your lifestyle, as you mentioned, keeping it healthy, but at the same time, keeping it convenient. That is how you change your habits, and that's how you become better at eating healthier, and of course, better at living your life to the fullest. So thank you very much once again to our Quaker Overnight Breakfast Club, everybody. Thank you.
What's up, vlogs? Como esta? How's it going? I forgot my vlog stick today, so. Who? Alex Wasabi. Gouch Wasabi. But I'm like Alex Wasabi. Roy Wasabi. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, we're having a good time. We are uh, the overnight breakfast Quaker club. What? I know. <laughs> the Quaker overnight breakfast club. We're eating breakfast. Ang pinaka importante meal sa buong araw. You already know. And uh, we're having fun. Wait, let's go. Uh... Hi, Lauren. Look. She's like in a really intense conversation, which I just busted up. Who else is here? We got Joyce Pring in the building. Where's Joyce Pring? Oh, we got we got pa Patty Grandich. Jack. Oh, hi, Tin. Everyone say hi, hi. to Tin. Joyce Prang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. Look, it's Joyce Prang. Hi, look, it's Will Dasovich. Uh, they're sick of my face. And Jacko De Leon. Hashtag dimples for life. Hashtag I'm good, man. Look, Hashtag. look. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay, well, there's your mouth. <laughs> all right, this isn't my vlog. Uh, I'm gonna give it back, but we're having fun. That's what it's all about. Will just took over my camera. I hope you enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I'm sorry if you think I'm annoying, but I did that. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go back to regular programming. Hey! Hey! Can you put na lang some oats in my jar? Thank you. You have to put more sa'yo. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. Ini kapan siya ni Pia. You know that pala? Yeah. Is there a pang strawberry? Put pa ako. Put pa pa ako mango. Mango. Malala. Thank you. One more. I want ubus na for Erica. Stop it. Thank you. Oh my God. So this is my jar. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. The things that we do to get the perfect shot. <laughs> Martin and Erica, pawi na kami.